Hey, I'm Steve with Mid-State Litho. This is the MBM AeroCut G2, and we're gonna take you through this machine in the video. We're gonna show you some features, how it works, and just let you get your eyes on a little bit. So watch this video and check it out. Okay, this is a two up eight by 10 on a 12 by 18. Uh, we're cutting all four sides out of these pieces. They're going in two up and coming out one up. Uh, if you'll notice up here by my finger, we have a little black mark. This is an OMR mark that the machine looks at uh, to register its positioning to the image rather than the lead edge of the sheet. So I've got a little bit of bounce going on. This machine will compensate for it, so that what comes out of the back end here is still going to line up real well. And this is what our finished piece is going to be looking like. Lined up real well. Okay, this is the touch panel for the MBM AeroCut G2. And if I touch this preset here, I can program the machine exactly for what I want. I'm just gonna pick Arch B 12 by 18 as my parent size. And first thing it shows me is a business card template. Next one over is a business card template with gutter cuts. And then there's many, many more um, of all different types of patterns and templates that you might wanna use. Those are real handy. In the manual tab, I have a little bit more control uh, specific, specifically over the, the details of my template. I can program in all different kinds of information here. This looks a little bit complex at first, but it's actually quite easy and everything that you need is right here on the screen. Uh, and that's a nice way to program the machine. But flex mode is new to the G2 and this is really cool. Uh, this is a little bit different style of programming where you're going to manually position your slitters and then manually time your different cuts and creases as they go down the sheet. This opens up a lot of different flexibility for the machine to do some unique styles of cut patterns uh, and some things that really weren't all that easy to do on the first generation. MBM has made some big improvements to this section of the machine. In the manual speed section, this is where I can control some of the details of the machine. I can also inch the machine forward or backward, cycle the cutter or the crease, and control the speed of my operation and some of the air parameters for how my machine is feeding. Here I have a 12 by 18. This has 24 up business cards on it and an OMR mark that the machine will register to so that we get nice accuracy, even if there's some image bounce. On this side of the machine, we have a business card catch. We just lower that into position and normally hangs up here. these out so you guys can see how well we're lining up. This is a different template. This is a 12 by 18 parent sheet with two up, six by nine. What we're doing here is we're doing two rotary perfs in this direction along with a strike perf right here in the center. And our finished piece looks like this. And you can see that we have a nice perf there that I can tear up very easily. And then four individual cards uh, that can also be apart quite easily with a nice perf on the Aerocut G2. Okay, we're going to switch die units in the machine. I'm going to pull out the top driver here like that. And then this is the die right here. I'll pull on these handles and just lift this one straight up. And you can see that that is the perf die with the perfing on the one side. I'm taking that out and replacing it with just my straight creasing die. So just like the other one came out, I'm going to drop this one in position like so. And replace the driver unit and it's ready to go. All right. Inside the machine we have our perfing module right here. There are two perf wheels that I can reposition very easily on my ruler. I can set my depth right back here. There's multiple clicks on the handle there and these perf wheels can be swapped out for scoring wheels if you need to do some scoring in the direction of feed. After that there are four slitting assemblies. Two of them are gutter cuts and two of them are straight slits. 
these position themselves automatically based on the template that you're picking in the front panel. After that we have a guillotine section which is going to do our cross cutting and then a creasing section. And this creasing die can be swapped out for a perfing die and we set the depth for our crease or our perf right here. So that was the MBM Arrow Cut G2. I hope you learned something from this video. If there's a lot more to learn online. Check out our website at midstatelitho.net. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and keep posted because we're always putting up new stuff. Thank you for watching.